Welcome back. Now we are doing the other part, a uh, decoupling report where we analyze the buyer income and the down payment details. The last part you were talking about whether the buyer can do the buyout. Now, we look at buyer a uh, borrower's financial details. In this case, the borrower John is age 45. In this case, Singaporean. Properties owned currently done or well, ex you know, other than the, the other one. That's what, what he's buying now. Monthly fixed income, we put it as 9,005. Uh, annual wearable 19,000, in which case, you know, he gets two months bonus. And mortgage financial details, we put it in, property owned nothing. CPF SA, we put nothing. CPF OA, just now we did not put any figure, so it's nothing. CPF usable OA also nothing. Cash balance, we did not put any single amount, so we put it as zero right now. So it's all nothing. And the mortgage details. He's buying out the existing portion, which is his portion of the loan. It's 112500. He can, well, based on his current income, in case he's just buying over, taking over his existing portion, then this is the uh, um, top amount that he can afford up to 1.05 million. The portion that he's buying out, um, it's 75% uh, of 1.265, it's 948750. And he's asking for 75% and he is able to borrow 75% based on the information that he entered. All right, and of course the bank has the final say. All these are only estimates. We look at the CPF OA and cash flow analysis. Um, in which case, if he refinance a uh, loan repayment, well, but he didn't actually use any CPF OA, no seller stamp duty. Um, there is uh, $2,500 of uh, legal fees. The down payment uh, of 5%, right, of the purchase price would be around uh, 253. Uh, no, sorry, CPF or down payment is actually 316250. This 316250 is actually this amount here. It's actually this amount here, right? This amount, okay? And minimum 5%. Is it actually 63,000? 20% CPF is this amount, right? So the CPF portion, all the CPF portion added up. In case you, he has CPF, uh, what is allowable to be paid on the CPF is 258,000. What is allowable to be paid on the uh, cash part is 99,050, all right? And in which case we put nothing, nothing. So. Um, his shortfall right now is three hundred and fifty-seven thousand uh, point one, uh, three hundred fifty-seven point one k, right? So in order to buy out this property, he will need to top up extra three hundred and fifty-seven thousand cash, right? And that's the down payment that he needs. Around TDSR and all those things, no issue. He's only short of the down payment. So in this case, what we do is, let's do a save, right? Have we done a save? I think we have, right? Let's do a save as... Um, right, now we make analysis. Step 5. 